Hey guys, what's up? We've got another image sent in for us to edit, and this one from Hello Sun. So if you guys want to give him a follow, if you like his work, his links will be down in the description for you guys. So coming down, you can see there's a real fade to those images. Sometimes there's quite a harsh vignette, but sometimes there's no vignette at all. And yeah, a real nice softness to the images that I really like. And we're going to be working with this shot right here. So we're going to be trying to recreate the exact edit. So let's go into Lightroom, see if we can recreate something like this. First thing I'm going to do is bump up the contrast. Uh, let's let's add in this really strong vignette that we got going. So let's come down. Let's nicely feather it out. And we don't, um, we'll keep it like that. Let's add in a filter down the bottom. Reset the filter. We'll just uh, take down the exposure. As it gets very dark down there. You couldn't, you couldn't add it, you couldn't achieve that darkness down the bottom with just the vignette. Um, I'll give it a bit extra because I'm going to add in a pretty strong fade in there. And that might brighten it a bit. I'm going to do the same with the sky. To bring those clouds out. Reset. And to get a bit of punch in the clouds, I'm going to bring up the clarity. Bring it all the way up. And then, because we'll soften the image by bringing down the clarity up here. So it's going to take away a bit of what we added to the clouds. And now we're looking pretty good, I think. We can bring up the shadows, highlights, and um, we might have to come back and fine tune some of this after we do the curves. So. It's quite obvious to me that there, there's curves because it has such rich colors in the shadows and I quite often find that's done by the curves. So we'll do the curves now. Okay, so that's the curves done, is before and after. So it adds in a lot more richness, and we obviously added in that really strong fade here. So we added in a lot of contrast with these curves. If I go back and I uh, get rid of this one. So that's just the color curves. And what you do is, I'll just go back. What you do is just 
do them, do a nice gradual curve, put a bit of extra in the mid-tones, sometimes the highlights, definitely bring those shadows down quite a bit. And then you just match it up with each color until you get this pretty much the same looking image as you did before you started the curves. And then you've just added in a nice amount of contrast and helps get those really nice rich colors. And then a really nice strong fade. Had to be really strong because we added in, added in contrast up here and in the curves. So now... We could have added in a bit of colors by doing the curves, but I'd rather do it with some split turning. Say if we left, took more blues out of the shadows, you can see we're leaving a few uh, more warm tones down there, but I'll probably just do it with split turning. So done with that. Uh, up here, I think we're looking pretty good. Right, let's head down. So maybe just we'll quickly drop the saturation of a few of these colors that are obviously real desaturated. So we'll take out those blues. Um, that's about it. Let's do some split turning now. So I want to add blue into the highlights because you can see these clouds, they're obviously our bright areas and they look on the blue side. So let's do that. And then the shadows, you can see we've got this really warm orange down here. So let's add that in. We won't add in too much right now because we will do it HSL and I'll probably shift these greens to more of a warmer color and then that will add even more to those warm tones in the shadows. Right, so maybe we should start with a hue. So like I said, I'm going to shift all these greens to a warmer color yellows as well so we get a little more of that redness in the grass uh, not many oranges just that little bit a little more on the yellow side Doesn't look like any reds. Okay, blues. So I think our blues look a little more teal. So it's only going to affect the blues that were originally blue. It doesn't affect the blue we put in with the split toning. So keep that in mind. Uh, aqua hardly any um, let's purples it's a tiny bit up here but it looks about right where it is magenta about nothing saturation I'll just bring it down because if red was in this image I'd say it'd be coming down okay yellow so I'm guessing yellow has to come up as you can see we've got more color in this area here a lot of the image uh, greens 
come up a bit. Then, what's Aqua doing? Not much. Bring it down, Tad. Blue. Blue, maybe there. So, luminance is a bit of a tricky one. We'll just bring these down. And about where the other ones are coming down. Just in case they were in the image. If someone was trying to save this as a preset or something. Um... So luminance, the brightness of our colors. So we just want a bit of a punch to some of these. So definitely in the yellows, you can see there's just a bit more brightness through them. Um, a tiny bit of oranges scattered through. Won't worry about the reds. So I actually think the green, the greens have gone a bit deeper. So it's quite hard to see, but over here, um, I'm just gonna bring them down. Bring them down quite a bit. So that's quite effective because green and yellow are our two main colors in this image. So taking them in opposite directions is gonna add a lot more color contrast into your image or contrast if you want to think of it like that um. so blues we look a little dark up there case they were in the image bump them up a bit I think we look a little too sharp so so his images are kept very soft so you probably want to bring up the masking as well because what that will do it will only sharpen the thick line so it will sharpen this big line along there but not all these little bits of grass there so bring it up quite a bit and you'll only be sharpening the larger lines and then your image can stay quite soft looking we'll do profile corrections um For this vignette, I'm going to slide saving the highlights. See how it's like, we're just getting too dark right in our corners. We're, we're just about right about here, but in our corners we're getting way too dark. We've got this nice bright bit. So what he's done is lifted the highlights here. And what that does, it just protects the highlights from the vignette. So the vignette won't affect highlights and grain definitely want some grain for a bit of texture We're looking pretty good come back up and yeah I'm super happy with that guys let me know what you think down in the description and you guys definitely go give him a follow over on instagram put his links down there for you guys and yeah comment who you guys want to see comment people that don't have too many followers but still have great images and i'll reach out to them on instagram and hopefully do a tutorial on them but yeah let me know what you thought check out the presets if you like these tutorials Heaps of you guys are grabbing those and yeah, I'm loving hearing how they're changing your guys editing and yeah, leave a like, leave a comment and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.